fourteenth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Luke 23, 44 through 46. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. Often at vigils, gathered outside state prisons when an execution is scheduled to take place. A similar experience happens. Those present gather kneeling in prayer, hoping for a stay of execution, but more often <clears throat> pray for the recently executed, for the conversion of souls and the healing of those impacted by crime. It is right that we prayerfully reflect on the seriousness of crimes that may have been committed and, on, and need for healing but as a people committed to building a culture that supports all life, from conception to natural death, we must also take time to kneel and pray. We must remember all the lives that have not been protected or cared for and contemplate our place in the crowd. Pray with me. Lord on the cross, by your love, heal us. Jesus, when we meet someone who has suffered abuse, enlighten us to consider their pain by listening to their stories to contemplate ways to help, and to understand how we contribute to it. Empower us to imitate you in liberating them, healing them, and loving them. May we help give them the ability to re-enter our communities with a true sense of love and worth. O oh, merciful God, forgive us, forgive us.